Hey guys, Coach Gaglione from GaglioneStrength.com. Uh, thank you guys for stopping by. I just wanted you guys to make sure before you leave, check out the links below for more information on how we can get you stronger. And now on to our Meathead Monday tip of the week. Hey guys, today we're talking about how to perform a reverse cycle for powerlifting. A lot of gyms don't have a reverse cycle or a machine, but sometimes you can just lay over a board or over like a back extension bench, glute ham raise. Whatever you have access to, this is kind of like how we perform reverse cyclers. Again, for our uh, philosophy, we want to try and more stabilize the little back and focus on the glutes and hamstrings doing the work. So we want to do these very controlled and very strict, especially if you're only doing with body weight, we want to make them as hard as possible. So we're going to raise the hips up, start with kind of almost a round lower back so we don't go into too much extension at the top. Raise the legs up, hold, straighten out the legs. We can hold for time here, get some low back kind of endurance because we're stabilizing here pushing the belly into the pad, and come back down, and up. Another variation of these, we get to kind of pull the knees to the chest, and extend straight out, just focus on getting hip extensions through here. Again, trying to focus on hip extension, and keeping the low back relaxed. So those are some two ways you could do reverse hypers for power to focus on hip extension, to really engage the glutes and the hamstrings. That's our tip of the week. Before you guys go, make sure you guys check out the links below. Thank you for stopping by, stay strong, and we'll see you soon.